And now, tile roofs don't last forever unless they're installed correctly. It's all about the installation. Wayne Sorensen from Top Line Roofing is here to explain the truth about cracks and failures in tile roofs. Wayne, how are you? Good. Good to have you, my man. Thank you. It's great to have you here here. today. All right. And and not new to the world of roofing, of course. In fact, a, a, a premier expert, but new to the show and to the Approved Home Pros, which I love. And, Sean, I know that you, uh, being in for Greg, you wanted to talk about tile roofs and the importance of how the installation process happens. Yeah, a- absolutely. N- number one, let me say that we've been wanting Wayne to be a part of the network for a long time. His reputation precedes him. He's one of the most well-respected roofers in, in the marketplace. But a lot of people have a misconception about tile roofs and the waterproofing and how long they last. So, so Wayne has some really great insight into that that we want to share about how tile roofs should be installed and how they can last much longer than you think. It'll make quite a difference. Yeah, we're going to get into that. But real quick, a free inspection uh, you can get, uh, actually, uh, before the rainy season. Make sure that you check it out. Give them a call. The number's on your screen, and we're going to give that number once again. But we want to get into the truth about tile roof leaks. Yeah, before the rainy season is a key. You don't want those blue tarps out there. That's, that's, <laughs> right. that's a problem. You're going to start a business with that, right? <laughs> well, yeah, let's talk about that later. <laughs> so, Wayne, uh, we were talking before we went on the air, and you kind of got into the, the tile roof world a little bit backwards from the way people normally do. Often they start with the installations and then get into repair, but you started on the repair side. They gave you a unique insight a little bit. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, yeah. I always say I, I learned roofing backwards, particularly in the tile industry. Um, 25 years ago when we first started as a company, what we did is primarily repairs on, on wood roofs. And um, we learned to think like water and solve problems. And so when if somebody first asked me, one of my clients asked me to try to solve a tile roof problem they had, they had other roofers try to fix it and they couldn't. I remember going out there and tearing it apart and looking at it and thinking, these guys don't know what they're doing because it, it made no sense uh, intellectually. So from there, we started doing a lot more repairs on tile roofs. And so now, for a number of years, we've been installing roofs. We've learned to install them how they don't leak not just to look pretty. Well, let's jump into that because what you were telling us is the key, and it makes a lot of sense, that the uh, historically the tiles themselves were the waterproofing and the underlayment was added later as a backup, but it's kind of changed over the years with the way that people think about that. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, what what we find out in the industry, this is is a concrete interlocking tile. When these tiles first entered the market um, in the 60s, they were actually specified to be put over, uh, with no underlayment, over open space sheeting. And they actually worked. I've been on numerous of homes in this county that were installed like this. And they never had problems unless there was a broken tile. So they worked. But what the industry decided, eventually, they needed a backup. So if a broken okay. tile happens, you got water pouring in the house, there's no protection. So they decided, okay, let's put it on solid sheeting and let's use underlayment. But what, what happened then in the late 70s, they been a little bit like this, yeah, okay. on down there. And then what they found in the late 60s, 70s, or 80s, they started using the underlayment, doing a good solid underlayment, and then they figured that protects me, so I'll just slap roof on uh, the tile on, and who cares how we do it as long as it looks good from the street, and I'm not going to have problems for 10 years. Nobody cares. Now I know that you have talked about TRI, part mm-hmm. of that group. Talk about that. Yeah, that's the Tile Roof Institute, and they actually, they actually they're an organization that started in the, I think believe the early 70s, and they. What they saw this decline in the tile uh, reputation because people were installing them so poorly. They wanted to develop a standard. And what they've done in the um, last 10, 15 years, they've developed a manual, which is the minimum standard for tile roofs. And this now is the building code. So you know, if you tile, do a tile roof, it should meet this standard by the minimum. And then they allow certifications for installers that can come and can take a class and learn how to do it properly. So, so this is helping people, uh, roofers, understand how to really install them with the proper waterproofing. I want to get back to this because I think it's mm-hmm. a key. Is that what you're saying is that a properly installed tile roof should provide the waterproofing with the tile with the underlayment being the backup. But what's happened is that it's, these are not installed correctly by some, by some roofers. And, and this, what should be a backup, is becoming the primary yeah. waterproofing. Yeah, absolutely. That's the key to understand. So, so that's what's happened, is that in some of, a lot of these homes, they, they use the underlayment as the primary um, waterproofing. The tiles are just laid up, water pours underneath, and you have a problem. Okay, so um, pulling, so what, what happens is, are they pulled apart or just not laid in correctly? Is that one of the issues that you see? Well, they don't do the flashing. These are metal flashing. The flashing is any transitional material. The matte flashings aren't done right, they lay the tiles up wrong, they do various things improperly. All right, now we're going to get to the fan question in just a second, but I have to ask this question. What's the longest tile roof that you know of uh, in San Diego? 
Well, I've been on um, roofs in Old Town or, or North Park, areas like that. They're built in the 30s, and they're actually is the wow. same uh, clay tile roof. It's not concrete, but clay tile roof that was put on in the 30s. So they can last a very long time. That is huge. Yeah, that is uh, that's amazing, and it's not because oftentimes people are having to repair their 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 tile in just uh, you know 15 years, but they can last forever. All right, we have a fan question. Uh, they write, I have heard we need an annual roof inspections, but isn't that really just a way roofers can get a foot in the door to sell me things I may not need? Let me jump in on this before you answer the question, because this is a, a thing that we get feedback on and questions from our viewers all the time. People are afraid with these things we recommend as annual inspections to invite the contractor in because they're afraid there's a foot in the door for people to sell something they do not need. With top line roofing, you're never going to experience that, but that is a concern people have. But, but we'll talk about the inspections and, and, and coming in. Yeah, it is a legitimate concern because I'm surprised how many times we go to someone's home and they say other oh, roofers come by, it's a 20-year-old tile roof, you have to take it apart and, and, and relay the underlayment and put the tile back down. Uh, it doesn't make sense a lot of times. They just need some maintenance. And then their roof hopefully will last another 20, 25 years. So, so before the rainy season has already started to rain, happens, you need to call Top Line Roofing out, get them out to do a roof inspection, tile or any type of roof. And for our viewers, you're doing it uh, free inspection, which is, I think, huge. Yes. Yes, and again, keywords before the rainy season. And it, again, just to be clear, it's for any type of roof, but they are the tile experts. So make sure you do that. Top line roofing. Thanks, Wayne, so much. Sure. Thanks, Pete. Yeah, wonderful right. to have you on. Okay, thank you. And now